Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys, it's Fia Life with Kelly, and you'll never guess what I've been up to on Blogmas Day. Numero uno, yes, I was on Kendra G's Singles Live here on YouTube. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. Look at November 30th's live stream. It would have posted today, December 1st. I'm at the one hour and 19 minute mark. Leave a comment down below if you watch. Hugs and kisses. It's Vlogmas. It's holiday time. Speech off. Okay, guys, so let's talk about it. Um, basically, Speech off. for Vlogmas this year, I'm going to do it a little differently. Um, I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas week. So it'll be a, like a long vlog for those of you all who enjoy the longer vlogs. And then um, I'm going to do some weekend vlogs as well. And then I'm going to post shorts videos every single day of vlogmas so you'll still get an upload every single day um you just won't get lengthy videos you know like 20 minutes or something like that or longer until like you know i normally upload like what mondays wednesdays and so that's what's going on for vlogmas um, leave it down below if there's anything in particular you guys want me to do. I was thinking about doing a QA. and a um, I'm mixing it up this year, so, you know. I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving. Um, I hope shopping has been fun and safe. Um, and yeah, guys, this was going on. I'm stretching myself every single day of Vlogmas to do something different. Um, where I have to absolutely rely on God's power to manifest it. Um, you want something different. You want something magnanimous. You got to jump. You know what I'm saying? You got to jump and watch God show up and show out for you. So anyway, guys, I've been missing you. I definitely got a lot to catch up with you guys on. And um, I'll see you guys in day two, which is Friday, which is in a couple minutes, actually. It's in a couple minutes central time. It's already Friday on the East Coast, you know. All right, guys. See you in the next clip. Wonder where I'll be next. Speech on. Stop. Stop. Hi, guys. It's Vlogmas Day 2. And guess where I am? In lovely Fort Lauderdale Beach. Law school journey continues. And we are on our way to Nova Southeastern University. It's VI Life with Kelly. You never know what's next. Okay, guys, so we're just about here. We're getting ready to make a turn at this light. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got half a mile to go. Leave it in the comments down below if you went to Nova Southeastern University, if you're familiar, if you're a current student. Leave it in the comments below where you're watching. Where are you watching this vlog? Are you in the States? Where are you guys? Okay, so this is the school here. And so we're gonna make a left in there? Uh, yes, okay. This is the Shepherd School of Law. The law school. Okay, you know the name of the um, okay, we're here. Hi guys. So basically, hopefully y'all can hear me. Turn it. I hope, I hope it didn't zoom in. Let me stop this. Hi guys. Okay, great. So 
I just left from the law school and evidently they haven't resumed tours officially here on campus um, since the onset of the pandemic and they're still working out how they're going to do that. So I just got to sit down with Miss Wendy and go over some of the curriculum. So let me um, just give you guys a quick overview. I am standing outside of the school. Let me just, so behind me is the school. And so right now I'm just waiting on my lift, but so basically their full-time program is a 90 hour program. Um, you are done in three years and the summers are not included so that you could focus on your internships and pro bono hours that are required. Um, if you do want to attend summer sessions, then you would graduate earlier. Um, the law school is designed pretty much like all the law schools I've been to where everything is in that one building. So it's a one stop shop to make it convenient. So there's a cafe in there. There's a three story library. There's a student support services. Um, in there so that's pretty good um, the full-time program is like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or 8 30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday they consider their spring semester here a winter semester so on um, tuition here is right under 45,000 a year which is pretty good on average for the law schools. Um, on the right or the left? Uh, I'll go right in front of me. Oh, we're driving in right now. Yeah, we're driving in. Oops. Let me see. You said it's in front of us. So the door is going to be on the right side? Yes. Oh. One face near top left edge. What do you see out here? I'm sorry? Do you see anything out here? Just like the trees. pool or anything? Oh, it's all no, covered. It's trees, a, a fountain, that's it. There's a fountain over there. Okay. How pretty. Let me see, and you said it's over here too. Oh, it's over here too. Look. That's a wonderful greeting. Don't you just love it, guys? Look at that sun. It's 80 plus degrees. Second day of Vlogmas. So pretty. We're getting ready to go in the Embassy Suites Boca Raton, guys. So, okay, let's see. Okay, I'll just get in line, right? Okay, guys, so I'm in my room. I'm at the Embassy Suites Boca Raton. And this is the beginning. This is the living room. Very spacious. That is a sofa bed. So if I had company, they could sleep there comfortably. That's the desk area as well as where the microwave and refrigerator. Here's the television. I am watching Dinner Dine. It's a cooking show. I have that on. Maybe, or rather, it's watching me. And then, let me turn around for you guys real quick so you could see where the door was. And then you can see from this view where the living area is. Okay, if you keep walking down this hallway here, then you get to the bathroom. Um, I like the Embassy Suites because no matter which one you get, you always get that living area separate from your um, bedding area. So you could host if you wanted to. You guys see, loving my on the road look. Okay, let me keep it moving, turn the lights off. Okay, here's the bedroom. Always like to get um, two beds two queen beds when I travel so I don't have to have someone in my room more than 
wants depending on how long I'm staying. Here's another sitting area, desk area with chair. I really like that. So if both parties, like let's say you have multiple people in your group, there's multiple sittings to work or use the computer or whatever. Y'all look at this sun. So yummy. I'm going to be making my way down to the pool in a minute. The Embassy Suites always offers um, a, I forget what they call it. It's kind of like a happy hour. Okay, so look, if you guys can see out the window, that is the stadium and the college FAU, Florida Atlantic University. It's only about five miles away, but you could see their stadium and the city of Boca Raton is all here at your fingertips. Of course, they have a mall that's like down the way, the Boca Center. But anyway, guys, yeah. This is what's going on. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't want to show you guys the closet. It's right here. So, super love it. It's nice and spacious, roomy. You can get a lot in there. I'm gonna be putting my jacket in there in a minute and making my way to the pool because it does get dark about like 5.30. You know what guys? Um, I forgot to show you guys the little nightstand area right here where you have the, the phone and stuff. Um, I usually try to figure out uh, oh, I think it's already on. I guess this light is already on. I think um, the gentleman that helped me get to my room turned it on for me. So it's like a little nightstand area. It's usually a Bible in these drawers, but maybe they stopped. I don't know. But yeah, you can put your purse down there or whatever you want by the bed. I'm getting ready to call and ask what kind of restaurant is in here otherwise i'm gonna go to luff's fish house um that's right down the street it's super delicious and sit on the patio real quick before the sun goes down oh guys you know what else i wanted to tell y'all i'm sure you guys saw this my visual my visual viewers this has a full length mirror right here guys yes guys a full length mirror <laughs> A girl can dream. A girl can dream. Where did I see it, guys? Oh, you know what? No, I'm tripping, huh? Is it a full length? Oh, do you know what? Here's the other TV. Here's the other TV. I could have sworn I had came across a full length mirror somewhere. But I guess not. Comment down below if you guys see a full length mirror somewhere. Because it would be nice. I do like it when they usually make the wall right here a mirror. Or, up oh, here it is. Yes, guys. Here it is. I knew I came across a full-length mirror. Yes, guys. <laughs> okay. There it is. All right, guys. See you in the next clip. Okay, guys. So, I'm back in this restroom. Um, this hotel is a 30-year-old hotel. If you can tell, they said they did renovations in 2017. So, I don't know if you can see the products. But, I wanted to show you guys um the the um bathtub so let's check out the bathtub usually they put like the products across they'll drape like a mat for you across the side of the tub and then um a lot of times they will see they have the products in there already hopefully you guys can see them there's like the soap right there and sometimes they'll have on the wall though like um this is like okay i don't i don't feel them so but sometimes they have like the pumps on the wall and it'll be like conditioner shampoo and body wash but this time they just have the bar soap there unless i'm passing it comment down below if you guys see it but i do feel this mat right here and everything so it's cool it's a traditional tub all right guys let's get out of here okay. i wonder can you guys see this can you see that beautiful sun
So far, I don't recommend this hotel. They're understaffed and um, the front desk receptionist is rude. But we're gonna try to give her a second chance or a third chance. But they're not able to help me get to the pool, guys. So I'm gonna have to wing it. And I don't even think, see the side, I think I'm on the opposite side from the pool. So the sun is over here and it's about to be dark. Um, so the pool side is going to be cold over there. So I don't even want to mess with it. I am going to see what time is sunrise though. Okay, see you guys in the next clip. Okay, guys. So basically, I just found out that I am in the middle of Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton, and West Palm Beach. I'm sorry, I'm in Boca Raton. So I'm in the middle of Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Miami. That's where I am, guys. All three of those locations or all three of those airports are 21 miles from where I am in either direction. I had no idea it was that close to West Palm Beach. Then I have called because I was going to do a drop-in Pilates class while I'm here. And they literally told me that from their location, their West Palm Beach Club Pilates is only like five miles down the road. I was like, wow. And then Deerfield Beach is like a hop, skip, and jump which is one of the reasons why I'm here. I'm taking a um, review class for medical massage therapy. So that's all day tomorrow. Yeah, vlogmas day three, guys. But I'm standing in front of my window because this sun feels so good on my back. Oh my gosh, it's this whole window is just warm. It feels like a heated pad. And the sun is just there, guys. So... Anyway, that's what's going on. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. Um, Luff's Fish House has that yellowtail snapper that I love. Um, so I'm considering going over there. They have live music that's going to be starting between like 5.30 and 6 o'clock. Um, so it's going to be dark at that point, but it'll still be really warm, like 75 degrees. So I was thinking about it, but then I was thinking like maybe I would go tomorrow when I got out of class. But I pretty much am sure that when I finish with that class, I'm not going to want to do anything but just come straight back to this hotel. So and then I'll probably just order food from here or get something on my way. So I think that I'm probably going over there, um, especially since I'm not getting to lay out by the pool. I definitely didn't get to do that. Um, so, yeah, I think what's going to end up happening is on Sunday, I'm going to have breakfast because on the weekends, they don't do breakfast here till 730 in the morning. So tomorrow I'm going to have to um, let me make sure I'm centered. What are y'all looking at, really? Um. Um, so in the morning, I'm going to have to be down there early so that I can ask for a favor and get them to make me my breakfast like immediately at 730 and then or even just start getting some stuff at like 720 so I can run out of here and be at my class on time. Thankfully, like I said, Deerfield is right down the street. So, um, I already looked it up. It's like a few minutes drive. So, perfectly, all that lines up real good. And I will take you guys to the class, the conference, and the class is going to be held in the Double Tree. So, um, that's another Hilton property. And I'm curious to see what that's like tomorrow. So, maybe next time I'll stay over there. Who knows? Um,. Just finding out now that West Palm Beach Airport is super close, I'm going to be looking at flights going into there from now on. I usually always just go back and forth between Fort Lauderdale and Miami, whoever has the better price. That's where I usually fly into. 
but now that West Palm Beach is an option, I will be flying in over there depending on the price I'm going to check. And um, I did I did get a really good price, like $113 um, one way. So Southwest is doing pretty good. Um, but I will tell you guys, Delta, Southwest, and United Airlines have been all having like the same price. So it just really depends on how much luggage are you going to bring that's really making the difference. Like, do you want to pay for luggage? Do you care? Or do you want a little bit more options as far as, you know, snacks and drinks? And, you know, do you want a little bit more? Or do you just want to get there and you really don't care and you don't really want to pay for extra stuff? You just got to think about that. Um, I'm drinking my water. They gave me this bag. Let me see. Matter of fact, let me take y'all over there. I really didn't want to move. I honestly really didn't want to move from that window because the sun goes down like so fast. It's like a light switch goes off. Let me show you guys this bag they gave me. I always have to. So I'm diamond. I know I've told you guys this before, but just in case you're new watching on my channel, I'm a diamond member with Hilton. So that means when you check in, well, usually you'll get an email the day before that says they've upgraded your room for free. So you get free room upgrades. And then normally you'll um, get a gift bag when you check in. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. I hope I don't end up sneezing. Let me try to find it real quick. So I end up having to ask them every time. And I don't even know. Oh, you know what they're having at 5 o'clock, too? They're having a reception. That's what it's called. So they give you the free drinks. They give you these free drinks. Here it is right here. Let me take it back over there so y'all can look at it with me in the light. So anyway, um, they're having a reception from 5 to 7. So they give you these drink vouchers. So you get two per guest. So like I would get um four a day um and then i get a room credit so you can use that when you charge your food to your room you can use your room credit right so anyway guys okay i made it back to my favorite spot in the room which is at this window so here's the bag right here they, they give you these bags depending on you know how high end or upscale um the hotel you're staying at the better the gift bags i showed you guys this when i stayed at the embassy in oklahoma city so they their water at this location happens to be niagara i know you guys are gonna ask me this is rose gold chrome on my fingernails it has been very popular it's called rose gold chrome if you want that and it is gel polish but anyway they gave me two of these bottles of water niagara i know that might have looked like i popped myself in the face but i didn't and then they gave me um a bag of lace potato chips and um a quaker chewy granola bar now you can you can ask for different stuff if you want you can they have a store like this one has a gift shop so you definitely can ask them like hey i don't want the lays and you can swap it for other chips down there you could get different granola bar like i usually always go for the kind bar and um i'm actually hungry right now so it's very possible i might end up eating that because their restaurant doesn't open till five but i really want to go eat I really want to go to Lux. Like, let's just tell the truth and shame the devil, guys. I really want to go to Lux. And um, it might happen. Because if I don't do it today, then that means I have to do it tomorrow. And when I li leave that class tomorrow, um, when I leave that class tomorrow, it's going to be dark. And I'm going to have my table with me. So I don't think that's what I want to do. I think I'm going to put on a dress and um, I already got my flip flops on. Yeah, I think I'm going to put on a dress and go to Luff's right now and enjoy a nice dinner. 
and start over tomorrow. I think that's what's really about to go down, guys. Yeah, so we'll see what happens in this next clip. But that's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, I'm here in Boca Raton, Florida, my favorite place ever. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Look, guys, when I come out of my room, you can see, like, the entire hotel, basically. It's like a courtyard down there. This is how the Embassy Suites is in Atlanta and Buckhead. Let me go on my way to Luffs. So evidently this place is like eight minutes away from the hotel Luffs Fish House. It's here in Boca Raton. If you're ever in the area, definitely check them out. Their menu is fresh fish. So this is what they caught for the day. And um, right now they're having a lobster feast that starts at 5 p.m. for dinner. Um, and they have live music tonight that starts at 5.30 or 6. So we'll be right on time. It says we're getting there at 5.05 p.m. Just wanted you guys to check it out a little bit. Sun is going down, guys. Shout out to Justin from Barbados, my Be My Eyes volunteer. Helped me figure out my way in through the hotel. Aquí. Yeah. Uh, aquí. Uh, see. Yeah. Two feet market. Mm -hmm. I don't know, serio? La GPS is here. Es un restaurante. Sí, estoy buscándolo. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Es 391, 252, 250. Uh -huh. Es para allá. Mm -hmm. Voy a dar la vuelta, ¿ok? Uh -huh. On the hunt for Lux Fish House. Fish Market. Tres nueve nueve. Okay, ahora sí si estamos otra vez sobre la palmito. ¿Qué? Nueve nueve. Aquí comienza todo noventa y siete. Okay, so. Es sobre la palmito, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. How is the name? El, el, Love. The number? Three, nine, nine. No, 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 no,
Hello? Hi. I'm doing good. Is this Love's Fish House? This is Love's Fish Market. Okay. Is this your restaurant? No, this is our market. The restaurant's down the street on the, the right-hand side. Oh, my gosh. Did the lady leave? Let me see something. Does she leave? Do you want me to take you down there? Yes. I'm going to take, take her down there real quick. Oh, my gosh. Because we just did like a whole long no uh, Come on. drive. Let's go. We did like 17 circles around here. So this is the market. Okay. So this is where We're we can buy fish to way. cook at home? Yes. This is the cook at home. Oh, that's nice. So it's about, about a block and a half. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You got, what's your name? Anthony. Anthony. So what else is over? Because because it said the restaurant was like three nine nine. It's yeah three ninety East Palmetto. Oh is three ninety the, is the restaurant. And she kept saying she couldn't find the yeah. three hundred block. It's kind of confusing, huh? Um, I maybe she just didn't go Look, far enough. Okay. Because it might because in mine it said three nine nine or something. Well, I'm glad it's only like a block and a half. Yeah, it's not far. I've been trying to get over here for hours. It's like, oh my gosh, I want to go to Lush. And I wanted to um, <laughs> Gotta get, get the key out. lime pie. Oh, I never tried it, but I'll try today. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I wanted to sit out on the patio and enjoy the sunset. I miss it all. Let me see. How you doing? Is this like... We're going to cross the street now. Okay. Do you know if... Um, what was I going to say? Do you know what direction we're facing right now? So we're heading south right south, now, okay. on, just crossing the street, uh -huh. and then we're gonna go left, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go be heading east now. Oh wow! So away from the sun. So away from the sun, yeah. and we're going towards the beach now. What time does your fish house close? The restaurant closes at nine. Really? No, oh, no but ten no. on Fridays. I'm sorry, okay. ten on Fridays. But what time does your store close? The our store closes at six, so at we're six. we're closing shortly. Oh, I'm glad I made it before y'all closed. <laughs> I'd have been devastated. Like, what do I do now? <laughs> Call another. What is lift. it an Uber? Another U lift. An Uber? A Lyft? Mm -hmm. And I'm so, they just let you go and. Yeah, because she did like about a good seventeen circles. Like, I guess this is where you need to go. I'm like, I don't think so. I looked it up. But well, she kept saying I'm she glad didn't see. We can help you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I came here before with a friend like a few months a ago. We got a biker coming for the way. first time. Okay, to the left. No, no, you're good where you are. Okay, you're good. Okay. Yeah. Are you from Florida? I was born in Michigan. Okay. And yeah. I moved down here when I was two years old. Wow. So I'm pretty much a Florida boy. Yeah. I'm old now I'm 41. So go ahead, um, Floridian. So I've been down here pretty much all my life, but I lived in mm -hmm. New York. I lived mm -hmm. in Miami. I, Whoa. I lived in a little, in some other places. I've I never been to New York. Worked in Italy for a little bit. Worked in Italy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You stretched yourself. <laughs> Did it all. And where are you from? San Diego, California. Oh, nice. Did you just move out here? Um, or just visiting? Yeah. Like I love any chance I can get out here. Okay. You know, I'm going to do it. So, um, they have a, a medical conference that I'm attending tomorrow. Okay. And so they have so usually where's this. Where's that at? It's in the Double Tree. Oh, okay. And um, usually any chance I get to attend a conference in Florida, I'll just do it. And you got in some nice, beautiful, breezy weather today. I know. It was like so nice, like 80s, yep. but just nice. Well, San Diego's got gorgeous weather. Yes, that's true. I mean, it's probably the best, one of the best places in the in the nation i mean everybody thinks that when they're it's home you know right <laughs> <laughs> it's home but um i actually love i love florida though yeah florida's i hate nice. leaving florida's nice we'll see what happens to be continued i'm always hoping something magical happens and i'll stay forever <laughs> well you know you keep, you keep putting it out there and praying mm -hmm. it will yeah and keep landing over here for some. Do you want to sit inside, outside? I don't even know because, like, we have a great at this patio. You do. You sit outside, and but it's dark. Huh? I'm gonna see how it feels when we go inside. Okay. And then, is anybody out there? Uh, we're almost coming up to it. Okay. Let's see if the, if people are out there and it's a nice well, vibe. There's a lot of people outside. Oh, uh, it is. Yep. Okay, yeah, then we're, I might we're going do around this. a car right now. So oh. Just, you're good. Okay. Okay. 
restaurant's coming up right now. How far is the beach from here? It, so you have a block, uh -huh. and then you would go over a bridge, uh -huh. and then it's like another three or four blocks. Really? So it's a little bit of a ways to get and there. Which, and which beach is it? It is uh, just Boca, Boca Beach. Oh, really? So I'm come bringing you to the hostess. Now. She came to the market, and oh. her lift dropped Thank her off. Thank you. And so I walked her down. So Thank she, you so much. She's just going to need some assistance okay. to get to okay. the table. Thank you. Okay, you're Tell welcome. Tell me your name again. Anthony. Anthony, thank you. I'll have your <laughs> elbow. Oh, I'm the hostess. I'll okay. take you to your table. Okay, thank For you. For Just me. Okay. Just you and just somewhere in the 40s. Okay. Here's this is your it. Pie. Okay. And then your drink is over here. Thank you. Okay, guys. So I'm having pie. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the food, but let me show y'all the view though. This is the patio out here on Lux Fish House. So nice. Y'all believe they have live music on Fridays, Caribbean music. It's a beautiful thing. Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys. So I'm back from dinner. Um, I am getting ready for bed. I'm very much tired. I was going to show you guys my outfit of the day. I already took my earrings off. But I'll just show you guys what the dress looks like that I end up putting on. Um, let me see, guys. Because I think I sat up here and forgot where the... Um, mirror was that we found once upon a time here it is so let's see if y'all i really shouldn't be showing y'all after i ate but whatever here it is so here i am and i got on the orange with this little it's like a frilly type top and then I had my bracelets on and my earrings. It was cute. I just wore my hair down for once. So hopefully y'all can see me. Anyway. Um, Speech on. Stop recording video. Face your button center. Speech off. Okay, guys. So let's go back and sit down. Hopefully I didn't do anything weird with my eyes. But I said I was going to start filming more without my sunglasses for y'all. I will say that I don't recommend this Embassy Suites. Um, this everything in here is old and dusty. Um, when they told me that they had short staff, I believed them. Speech on. Face centered. Face near bottom edge. Speech off. And I'm like on my own in here. Like there's nobody to help me or come get me to take me anywhere in here. So I have to figure it out get like random guests to help me and you know la 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 so i'm supposed to go to that conference all day tomorrow but i really don't want to <laughs> i really don't want to so i'm gonna see if i really get about the bed and really make myself go i really rather lay by the pool all day tomorrow and um even go to the beach. I would love to get up and go to Deerfield Beach tomorrow. And then maybe do a little random window shopping. But um, to be continued because it makes me have to do a bunch of stuff on Sunday before I leave. And leave my bags like at the front desk. Because after like 2 or 3 o'clock, you know, I have to get out my room. But... My flight's not till 5 p.m., so it's not like, you know, I'll be leaving anyway at like 2 for sure to, um, to go to the airport. So I would have, you know, the whole morning, I pretty much would probably have to get up, eat breakfast, and then leave at that point. So I could be, you know, poolside or at the beach by like 10, 11 then enjoy that for like two hours and come right back so i don't know 
I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm going to go to like half of this seminar conference class thing I'm going to. I think I'm going to go to like half of it because it's in, it's on the border of Deerfield and Boca Raton anyway. And, um. Speech on. Face centered. Speech off. Okay, great. It's on the border anyway. So I feel like I'm going to just go like to half of the class and then, um, go on to Deerfield Beach from there and enjoy the rest of my evening, have some lunch, whatever, and then, um, yeah, I think that's real, guys. And then I think I'm going to, um, come back to my room so i think we'll see how it goes but i think that i'm only gonna do like half of that conference tomorrow i don't see myself really being there from eight to eight i don't like rushing out of the place when it's time for me to go home um on the day that i have to go home i like sleeping in lounging eating breakfast and just lay by the pool and then just leave all nice and chill not in a rush so trying to run around and do a bunch of last minute stuff doesn't turn me on so i don't think so guys i don't think it's happening um lust was great the service i don't know i had a server named emma she was rushing me like nobody's business she as soon as she sat my salad down and brought my pineapple juice she was like how do you like everything i'm like i didn't taste anything <laughs> i just said it i didn't even like try to pretend like yeah it's great then um she came back and was like oh not to rush you do you want anything else though anything else anything else like it was just crazy i don't know i ordered a salad she's like you want to just get a half since you're getting a, the yellowtail snapper which by the way guys luffs is delicious i really recommend highly recommend you go if you're out here anywhere near here check them out they're good that everything's wild caught fresh catch of the day um the vibe is great i love sitting on their patio tonight they had live music a caribbean feel was nice it was the real nice low-key chill um so i enjoyed that sorry guys my phone is acting up over here let's let's turn it off so um yeah we got that i got the key lime pie it was delicious i don't know if i've said that already if i have sorry but it really was good um and yeah to be continued i feel like in my heart of hearts i would love to stay longer if something worked out for me that i could stay longer then i i might make myself stay at that conference the whole time and then take sunday where i go to like the store go get me a swimming suit um go to the beach like get me a little short set or a little summer dress and spend the rest of my day at the pool it's like i need a whole day for pool time and beach time i need a whole that's a whole day for me you know accompanied by a restaurant on the patio somewhere really close right there and when i can't seem to squeeze that into my schedule like today i tried really really hard to get you know to the pool before it was closed i mean before it was dark because you guys know it's like that whole winter fall winter change that that is crazy it gets dark so fast like blink blink it's dark so i was trying my best to get to the pool like by two no it was like three o'clock i was like okay let me get out there and enjoy the last two hours <sighs> but anyway Yes, guys, that's what's going on out here in these streets, in these, in these traveling streets. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal um, weekend. This is Vlogmas, first Vlogmas weekend, the second day of December.
can y'all believe it? It'll be January before you know it, so pay attention. How about this? How about this, though? Matter of fact, let me, um... Speech on. Speech off. You guys. Who knew Club Pilates was having a Black Friday special? I didn't. Raise your hand. Who knew Club Pilates was having a Black Friday special? How about they were giving out their eight-pack membership? For $59 for four months. Who's mad? Me. <laughs> $59, guys. I'm so mad that I didn't even think about them to see what they would be doing. Any of the gyms for... Anyway, guys. Whatever. But, yeah. So, um... Leave it in the comments below. Tell me if you guys found any good things. I've been seeing a lot of 65 inch, 70 inch televisions for like $4.49. That's exciting to me. I do want a new living room television. Um, anyway, guys, I'm still watching this cooking channel where it's watching me. I just left it on this whole time until I got back. What else did I have? I had the snapper black and well done i had the backyard salad which is a mixed greens with um some tomatoes avocado onions a citrus vinaigrette it's really good they make their own vinaigrette um and then i had a some type of steamed asparagus bro uh not broccoli steamed asparagus carrots and potato guys it was good it was really good. I will say they charge like their key lime pie was $14 for that slice, one slice. The um pineapple juice was five dollars per glass of pineapple juice. I had two glasses of it. Um, you know, the red snap I mean the yellowtail snapper is thirty-eight dollars. Um, the salad I think was fourteen dollars as well, you know, so you know, you easily spend eighty dollars on one person eating, which isn't bad. That's like going to Papado or whatever, or whatever you have close to your house. Okay, guys, I'm super sleepy, and I just wanted to chime in with you guys, talk about how my day went, what to expect in the next few clips. Um, expect the unexpected. You guys know I talk about it, but who knows what really happens unless you watch the entire vlog. I do want to touch on the giveaway again. You guys, um, the giveaway works like this. We hit 500 subscribers and at the 500 subscriber mark, I chose five people to receive a cash giveaway. Now we're at the second round of the cash giveaway where once we hit 1000 subscribers, then I will choose another five people um, to receive the cash giveaway. Now the rules of engagement are this, you have to be a real subscriber, a real person. Um, you have to like, share and comment. So the more that you share and comment, the more entries you get to win the cash giveaway. Um, then you'll receive the funds electronically, um, either Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. So um, that's the rules. This is my first time ever doing this cash giveaway. I also told you guys, and if you read in the description box, um, it will tell you that we're going to do the giveaway again at 10,000 subscribers and then again at 15,000 subscribers. So... Um, there's some markers there um, and so we're just going to keep the party going. I am doing the um, Adopt 10 Children it's gifts from Nina and um, basically, you know, their parents are incarcerated or transitioned or, um, you know, these are parents with premature babies and so we're just taking their wish list and fulfilling it. So if you want to contribute to that, I can send you... If you send an email, I can send you a list of things that have been requested and then you can mail them in um, and and just go from there. So send the email to vilifewithkelly at gmail.com if you're interested in participating in the Gifts from Nina uh, program. And 
yeah i think that's all that i wanted to tell you guys at this time please be patient with me because i didn't just want to give away 25 dollars per person or whatever the dollar amount is i'm just throwing that out there and i didn't do something special for you all so i have been trying to like design shirts that say you know kelly's 500 if you're a part of the first 500 if you're a part of the first thousand um i wanted you guys to have something special to commemorate these um markings you know so and i wanted to give you guys something too for the holidays it's special for me so i have been really working hard on that and um another thing is guys if you come off like a bot like if you send me weird messages you're not answering any of the things i say in my videos i know that you're not watching the video so um and it question it makes me question you know who are you so i just wanted to bring that up just for you guys to know what's going on um where we're at with the get cash giveaway what what what's you know what's the tea um, and I will tell you guys that I don't rush to send out anything because I need to make sure these are not fake accounts. And the only way I can wait, make sure they're not fake accounts is to gauge your engagement, what you're saying, and to wait and see if YouTube removes the accounts, which can take up to 30 days. And, um, and then we just go from there. So be patient um i want you guys to have things that i you know feel good about and i want you all to be real subscribers so yeah okay guys i'm getting ready for bed hugs and kisses i'll see y'all in the next clip dang did i put the, I don't put the camera sideways speech on 20 percent battery remaining close button close stop